Yo, man, we about to talk about a success story, Heather B. I know it. This is a success story right here, man. Absolutely. This man first came out in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Is that true, bro? Like 90s? That wasn't that long ago. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I don't know if it was that long ago. 99? <laughs> in 1990 nah. is when he first. Nah. Nah, <laughs> nah, not that long. It was him, Nas, Lord <laughs> Professor. Jay. Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but uh, this man has been putting in work for a long time. I know in the mid-2000s we came over to uh, Memphis. I tell this story all the time and had a chance to hang out where he hangs out and hear his vision. And, you know, over a decade later, man, to see it all come to fruition, to see his brand grow. Most importantly, to see how many people that he helped put on and helped them improve the quality of their life. I think that's something that should be recognized for Black History Month. That's heavy. Yeah. That's yes, something sir. that should be recognized for Black History Month. Mm-hmm. All righty, here today to talk about his new album, Untrapped. Get up for Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti. What's happening? CMG. We in the building. How you been, man? I've been good, man. I've been good. Just, just, just been. How much you wearing today, man? I'm like, Lil Migo got on more than me. Lil Migo. <laughs> What's up, Lil Migo? What's poppin'? I'm chillin', man. How much you wearing, Lil Migo? No cool ticket. None of sunlight. <laughs> a ticket? Yeah. What, what's that money talk? What's a ticket? Is that a sunlight? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm light work, man. What's that, 200? <laughs> 300? I mean, together we probably got on a, uh, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot? Yeah. yeah. Two houses. <laughs> don't make them, don't let them leave. On, I got diamonds in my T2. Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? You got diamonds in my T2. <laughs> you wanted to point that out? <laughs> yeah. I can't forget about that. You know, hey, you, I love it. You know the youngest go super hard. They got to let you know. Easy, man. What what is it for you guys? Like when we were growing up, you, it was a a good gold chain and you was cool. But now I got a cousin who won't even get no. Her nephew won't even get one diamond stud. It has to be two. Two. For real? Yeah. I don't know. Just something about two. I think they're just some young young people stuff. Young people stuff. Yeah. He said one look like you ain't got it. Yeah, like you ain't got it. You gotta have more than one. <laughs> two or three. Two or three. Or four or five or six or seven. However many you can buy. I also wonder if it's because at some point you felt really ignored. I think that about that a lot of times with our community, just as black folks yeah. and how people will just like undermine you, yeah. overlook you, and yeah. so when you got it, you wanna be in their face. Yeah, it's just some black people stuff. I mean, I feel like I, I feel like me, I, I feel like you know when you come from nothing, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like you know, everybody was fucked up at some point. So yeah. I think you know, I know for me when I was fucked up, like I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get my paper. Like I already, you know, how some people get money, then they had to figure out what they're gonna do with it. Yeah, I knew exactly what I was gonna do with my shit. What was your? Right, you know what was what your I knew plan? the house, like the neighborhood uh-huh. where, like the houses I got in Memphis. I knew. I already knew about the house, the neighborhood before I could afford to be older. Mm-hmm. So like you know, the cars I wanted, the shit I wanted to uh, buy my mama and everybody. Like I already knew the shit where it was at, how much it cost it. I just had to get the paper to go get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, even yeah, jewelry too. You know what I'm saying? Jewelry and shit that I wanted. Like I was very knowledgeable of the shit that I wanted to buy and how much it cost it. So I just had to go put the grind in. So when you come from nothing, like I expect young niggas to shine. You mm-hmm. expect, yeah. right? Yeah, I might like, think something wrong with you if you don't. If, a, yeah. if you don't, so like if you if you like if you see somebody that's on TV and they ain't shining, or somebody's in nah, the game, not, not, just not, in general, not TV. I'm just saying, like we from Memphis. Yeah, we yeah. from Memphis. Yeah. We from Memphis. So to be clear, like we from like one of the most poverty cities in the world. Yeah, I think we were like number two or something. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like it's really fucked up. But we from like a lot of people fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hustlers out there and they get money too. So like I'm saying, when I see a black youngster, uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, posting two million dollars because he got two million dollars now, more than two million dollars now. Like that's not abnormal to me. I'm like, hey, shine, yeah. y- shine, y'all nigga, go Is ahead. It? You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I think that's more the mentality. Probably so, the more that you wear, the less that you had. Not necessarily. Not on know. CMG. No. Not in CMG. Not in nah. CMG. We don't play them games. Let me ask you this, because I remember watching. Reading about Motown Records with Barry Gordy, Lil Migo, this is going to go back. This is like, yeah, 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 you, yeah, I probably yeah, wasn't going yeah, yeah, you, No, no, you weren't going to Lil Migo. I ain't number 22. Well, I'm about to give you some game, though. Wow. I was, and listen, truth be told, I wasn't born either when that stuff first started, but I studied it, right? Yeah. Because Barry Gordy, before there was a Diddy and a, uh, and a Yo Gotti and a, yeah. and a Jay-Z, uh, was the person that, you know, one of the people that helped create the infrastructure. We know as the biz, uh, music business, but he would take his artists, whether it was Smokey Robinson, The Temptations, and all these different people, into like an orientation and talk to them about money and talk to them about performing yeah. and investment and all this stuff that's about to happen, that's about to come your way. 
you have so much information now. Do you do that when you uh, do you sit down and like talk to little Migo or of course. youngster about man? Look, of course, of course. What you say to him? Like, I mean, first of all, I just let them know that like you know, uh, just for the brand's sake of myself. Like one thing about me, I'm big on a lot of things, right? Mm-hmm. I'm big on teamwork. You know what I mean? Everybody looking good, everybody feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even, you know what I mean? Don't fuck your paper around me doing no dumb shit. Mm-hmm. And then you have me looking crazy with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and looking like we ain't handling business right over here. You know what I'm saying? Because you just on some wild shit that you shouldn't be doing. So, I mean, we ain't trying to, you know, we ain't nobody parents. So we don't control nobody, nah, but nah, it's just yeah. advice. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not telling you not to shine, go hard. You know what I'm saying? But also make sure you got the priorities in order, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, you know, when this shit over with, you know what I mean, you took care of your family the proper way. You know what I mean? You own your house, they ain't coming taking this shit back from you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, one thing I can say about um, a lot of the artists I've been working with, like, you know, they bought a lot of this shit, which I ain't saying that's the smartest way to do it, because, you know, they say you use other people's money, but, you know, all the cars you see youngster with, he, he don't got no note on them. He cashed them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to sell them, he can sell them. He own the shit. Uh-huh. Um, money bag too so a, a lot of the artists they they it ain't like you you he in this shit he he in this shit just because he can afford the note and it's a note to note situation which mm-hmm. a lot of people be in that ain't the case mm-hmm. you know what i mean like you can really afford this shit that's why you're in it but you also just got to be smart too man like you know we got to put the money in other places other than jewelry right. and, and cars and shit too like like where real right. estate you know we uh-huh. do real estate uh-huh. Yeah, so youngster just built two houses uh-huh. from nice. the ground up in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh, shout out to him. That I've been knowing real estate over 10 years myself Yeah, already. Um, I just invested in eSports, FaZe, FaZe Clan. Clan. So to know yeah. what FaZe, FaZe Clan is like one of the... Uh, Are we the latest gaming team in eSports, to be yeah. clear? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan. Um, Clinton Sparks... Yeah, Clint, Clint Sparks, 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 Clint Nelly, Sparks. Nelly is a part. A part. It's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, I, I was approached. Offset. I was approached with that. It, it, it was a nice little nugget to get involved too. Yeah, yeah. It should I cool. get involved? Of course you should. <laughs> this, the, this the fast. This the fastest growing um, esports in general. Is mm-hmm. is like this shit? Like it's a fast. One of the fastest growing uh, businesses. You know what I'm saying? The uh-huh. Face Clan, most definitely like the top team. Yeah, but you don't in, in in this kind of investment, you you're not gonna see a return for a couple of years, though, right? Yeah, I mean the goal is like anything, you know yeah. what I mean? Like when it build or, or go public or whatever, you you cash out, you know what I'm saying? But to me, my investment wasn't necessarily just all monetary reasons, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I think the team is flat, okay, and, and culturally, like when you put hip hop and next to game, and I think Phase Clan is the closest thing to it. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? The players, they fly, they follow, and if they do a pop-up in New York, it's going to be a 1,000 kids and mm-hmm. shit out there. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I like that they, they got influenced into culturally things. Uh-huh. So that was part of the reason why I rock with them too, though. Uh-huh. Yo, yo, Gotti here. He untrapped now, Heather. Oh, uh, yeah, I woke up. He woke <laughs> up now. Yeah. He untrapped. Mike Muse, go ahead, Mike. Yo, yo, Gotti, I love this conversation that we're having. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I'm a big proponent of allowing black and brown kids and youth or athletes and rappers to get that first purchase of jewelry and diamonds because we have been deprived. And it's no different than anyone else getting certain things. But there is this misunderstanding that there is a conversation happening going forward to what you're doing with CMG in terms of investing in the real estate because we don't see that on being posted on Instagram. I'm just curious outside of CMG, do you are your other colleagues, your other fellow rappers also having this same type of conversation too as well of investment in real estate? So I think that needs to be cleared up if that conversation is yeah, happening. I think a lot of people and I'm trying to see uh last time I was up here uh, when Meek Meek and Future was yep. on tour, right? Yeah. And they had the show in uh somewhere right out here outside New York. Mm-hmm. I was out here and I uh, I was in uh in the back dressing room. And me and Meek and 21 was actually talking about that, about different investments in real estate. That's great. And a lot of shit like that. So I think other people here is uh, investing their money, too, mm-hmm. in, in other shit. What about losses, though? Um, that's the part of business people don't always talk about, the losses. The losses comes with the success, yeah, right? Yeah, losses part of winning. You know what I mean? If you're scared to lose shit, you're probably scared to win. That's how I view it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, be tell- I be telling my uh, me and my homies, we, we got this shit called the kitchen. Uh-huh. Right, where well, we 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 like be discussing different shit and mm. everybody ideals and who got the, you know, you know everybody think they got the genius motherfucking yeah. ideals and shit. <laughs> but we call it the kitchen because it means like whatever we put on the table, it don't lead to whatever the room. Mm-hmm. Whoever in the room, like we don't talk about it. You can say the dumbest shit in the world and we won't repeat it outside the kitchen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So um, that's what's up. So we, I was telling them about you know different. 
perspectives of like, and I use this analogy of if you got a house and you got a porch and then, you know, the grass and then the street out there. More people be, so many people be double dutching and shit from the porch trying to figure out how, to, how they going to jump from the porch to the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And these people who trying to be perfect, so they never even try because they trying to be so perfect versus you got a nigga like me, like, if I think of something tonight, I'm gonna try to do the shit in the morning. You, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I'm gonna come straight out the door and just jump. I might fall, bust my head in the in the grass, get dirty, but I'm gonna jump up, dust that shit off, and I'm gonna be in the street while you still on the porch trying to figure out how to get to the street. We was just because I don't care about I don't care about making a mistake during mm -hmm. the process. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I look at this shit as a learning lesson. It ain't really a loss. It's just part of me learning how to get to where I'm trying to go. It's a great analogy because we were Sway and I were having a conversation a couple of weeks ago. Some yeah. people just don't ever grow. Cause they too scared to yeah they try they trying to be perfect yeah you, you ain't gonna be perfect you ain't gonna you know be perfect so. yeah, like your poker game when you lost that half a million <laughs> that, 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 shit something was didn't go right right yeah, what shit, happened they, <laughs> shit didn't go right was definitely <laughs> what's your poker yeah. game oh like, he played man? poker too <laughs> that, that was blackjack oh was it blackjack oh, blackjack. Yeah. oh shit oh okay yeah, yeah, shit most definitely yeah, didn't yeah, go right yeah, yeah man I love blackjack but money you lost went to a cause though right yeah it was a uh Jay Z uh mother charity. Oh, okay, yeah. Was it real? A real five hundred k? No, it was real. It was real money. What? Well, I, I like. I, I I play poker, so you know. Little this was blackjack. This blackjack. was black. I know, yeah. but I'm I gamble. So let's okay. say okay. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> little Migo, most I might have yeah. lost is six seven hundred dollars, man. Me too. Felt I felt bad when I lost <laughs> that. You don't, you don't really gamble. I gamble, but I ain't gonna lose them. I ain't gonna sit there and really just lose my money. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna If I know I'm losing, I'm just gonna stop. Like, you I gonna stop? Gonna, I ain't, you ain't stuck. gonna let it get to nah, half a nah, meal nah, though, right? I ain't gonna let it get to a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I need all my money. How old are you, if you don't mind? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. All right. So the rap game paying is what's what's, yeah. what's what's his story? What's your what? How you meet this dude? Man, a couple of uh, actually black youngster. Mm -hmm. I had, I was already hearing about him. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple of my partners were like showing me on my Instagram, like. I'm like, who is this little nigga with the vet in the city and, mm -hmm. you know, going over all this money and posting all this money? And, and you know what I'm saying? When I went to a couple clubs, they were playing this. I'm like, what record that is? I always do that when I go back home. Like, when I go out, mm -hmm. and I'll be like, yo, who is this? What record it is if I've been gone for a minute? Mm -hmm. And they're like, it was like his name was coming together, like, all oh, this little amigo. And then my other nigga was showing me him, like, on Instagram. Like, this little nigga with the vet riding through North Memphis and mm -hmm. going crazy, turning up. And then uh, Black Youngster ended up hitting me. And we're like, uh, man, this, this nigga, the amigo, I think we should rock with. You know okay. what I mean? You know, I also like my little brother. Anything he want to fuck with, I, I'm going to fuck with it. So we just figured out a way to do it together. So it's like a partnership with me, him, and Black Youngster. Wow. Okay. Little amigo, where you get yeah. your name? Were you a fan of the amigo? Or? Yeah, I was, but no, nah, I ain't come from them, though. I just always call myself. That. I don't even know where I got it from. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> Probably Mexico. I don't even know. I ain't mad at that, man. And, and so you Probably like, Mexico. You know, we like Mexico. Mexico. You yeah, we, we like Mexico. We follow Mexico. Okay. We follow Mexico. Okay. Yeah. All right. What, 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 you, you, uh, what's your story? You from Memphis, right? Yeah, I'm from Memphis. Yeah, grew up big family? Or? Yeah, nah, uh, kind of big family, but not big, though. Not a no big family, though. Yeah, uh -huh. not a no big family. Who made you want to rap? Shit, my uncle. I ain't even want to rap. I ain't never seen myself in no rapper. Like uh -huh. I, he just he said he always said I look like a rapper, dress like a rapper, act like a rapper. So I just tried the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. shit it right, you had all the other parts. Yeah, I had everything. I guess I just tried it. I started liking this shit. Like the more I started doing, it, I started liking it. So shit. I love it. I love it. Hey, I, I it love, worked. Hey, best, hey, best decision I, I ever could have made though. That's why I love young niggas, man, because they just like don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, give a fuck. I you know, it's crazy. Like, so, but why, and they just doing what they want to do. I love it. How, how has it become the best decision? <laughs> what, what has shit. it helped you with? Get out the streets. Okay, speak on it. Man. I ain't shit away from it. You know, people dying every day. So mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. I'm right here, not there. Okay. Mm. So shit. Yeah, it's interesting because I would imagine Yo Gotti that music is. I could be mistaken, but out of your money making revenue streams, probably the least profitable for you right now, is it? Music? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. It ain't? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yes, I uh, think this shit gonna pay for everything, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, music is um you know, the blessing from the the blessing from the financial space of music put us in is how we was able to invest yeah, into stuff. the other things. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And you know I'm a hustler, man. Like numbers up numbers always been my thing. Math always been my favorite subject. 
I just get a thrill off of seeing the numbers grow and flip and shit like <laughs> that, too. like oh, in different businesses. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, it's just it's a rush. It's a rush. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna. Um, you you got a couple bangers on here, bro. And I I was saw the clip with you and um, Nas in the studio. Yeah, that was legend for me. <sighs> I always, I always wanted to be just in the same. I met Nas like out in the street a couple times, but mm-hmm. like to be in the studio with him, like, mm-hmm. well, I got his undivided attention. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To 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 critique my music because I like I like critique from people who I respect. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if Nas would have told me this shit whack, I probably erased it the whole shit. Right? Really? So Absolutely. Like, like, come on, we're going in right now again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, cause that's I value his opinion. Mm-hmm. Like that with him being a legend. So you know, for him to like really feel the music, that shit like. You know, it gave me a rush. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to talk about one of the songs he was talking about. It's actually one of my favorite um, songs on the on the project. It remind me of Ten Crack Commandments, uh, uh, that Big made. I don't think that's what you intended on doing, but it gave me that kind of feel. And that's a compliment. It's called Big Homie. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, we're gonna do a lyrical breakdown with that one right now. I don't get it. What exactly? Don't you get breaking down the lyrics you may not understand. What the hell did you just say? It's the lyrical breakdown. I can break it down like whatever you want. Unsway in the morning. You know, I'm going to skip through this, but this is just kind of a guideline, man, for you and your crew. And wherever block you from uh, or wherever you from, this is some some guidelines that they follow in his crew. Yo, Gotti. Yeah. Rule number one, believe in your dreams. Always understand it's more than you. It's a team. Yeah, that, that, facts. we see that you've always repped the team, right? Facts, man. Teams win championships. No one player win the championship. You know, what I'm saying LeBron, one of my favorite uh-huh. players. You know, what I'm saying, but he still need four other people on the court with him to win. What if What if one of your team players ain't a team player? Oh, we 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 yeah, uh, gotta go. We trade them. You <laughs> trade. <laughs> gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. All right, yeah. all right. Tennis player, not a basketball player. Yeah, we Here, trade. Go. Here's a, a rule that's been broken since the beginning of time. Rule number two: <laughs> 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 niggas, bitches are off limits. We don't do that in the family. No distractions while we winning. Facts. You know nobody following. People ain't following that exactly. rule. Yeah. Little, little Meagle, you you ain't you uh-huh. ain't never you ain't never had one of your homeboys pass you know pass exes. Man, nah, nah, okay, I don't do good. this shit. Okay, because OG taught me that early. I don't do what this. they say? Yeah. What they say? It, it's just you know what I mean. It, it's too many women out here, so it's like you know, um, you know, if you hustling with somebody, you got to think like you can't give a person a reason to like when you in the streets, you already playing a thin line of yeah. trust and loyalty. And sometimes niggas just looking for a reason to cross you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, you don't give a nigga a reason. Oh, man, he messing with your girl. Or, oh, I told on the nigga because, you know what I'm saying? You know how yeah. niggas get in trouble and then they looking for a reason to justify some foul shit they mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plus, sure. I just think it ain't, you know what I mean? I think it ain't, um, it's just a respect level. Mm-hmm. And I'm speaking on, like, niggas real girls, though. Because mm-hmm. let's get yeah, some wives. Yeah. Let's yeah. get yeah. something straight. Like, yeah. I, I believe every man is only titled to giving their heart to one woman. You ain't got no two, three girlfriends now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now you got one, and that's what rule two applied to. Now number two and three, <laughs> this shit up for grabs. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I get that. Yeah, I you can't, be, cut, on it, you can't you know? be cutting your heart up, and, and you got one heart, my nigga, and you got to get this shit to one person. Okay. You know okay. So when we see people who have, you know, been with the same girl, we should assume that maybe they don't take that girl seriously. What you mean? Well, in the industry, a lot of times people will comment on how a lot of rappers will eventually end up dating, like, the same woman. So with this philosophy, I wonder if they never took that woman seriously. I mean, but you got to understand, like, in the, in the industry, a lot of yeah. rappers didn't grow up with each other. Yeah. They they, they, don't they may be other. peers, but they not homies like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that shit don't matter. Like, okay. okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like, we talking about, like, family, right? Like, Niggas you grew up with and like yeah. your family like under the same roof. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Even close enough your to be boy, under yeah. the same label and shit. I feel like you know what I'm saying. So comfortable. Like it's just yeah. too close. Too so I could bring my lady close. around CMG. I'm good, right? Yeah. If I bring no, my no, lady no. Around Respect around. level high around here. Little young hyenas like little <laughs> little Migo over there. I want to make sure before I even bring her in the room. You see his smile. <laughs> his smile alone. The respect right, level high over here. Okay. Uh, rule number three is kind of sensitive to me. This table full of plates. We make sure everybody eats and communicate your issues. We can agree to disagree, but talking family business, that's out of the family. That ain't G. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, never spread the family business outside the family. Yes. That ain't G. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and um the other one, number three, this this kind of sensitive to me. Uh, this table full of plates. We make sure everybody eat. Mm -hmm. So you know, we always want to just make sure we f we figure out. A, um, we make sure everybody good. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, mm -hmm. that's a fact. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody good. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I've been blessed to be able to do with my label. Um, all the artists been able to make money. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, even before they sold a lot of records, you know, uh, I got a secret blueprint. Uh, so you know. I've been getting money for a long time, so yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I, I, that's a secret yeah. blueprint that we got that, I know, um, I know it, I ain't we, telling We make sure we give it to all our artists early, that's why you see a lot of our artists in the early stages touring the right places and picking up the right bags and, and getting money, you know what I'm saying? Probably more money than some of the artists that be, have way higher accolades than them, mm. you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, I witnessed the secret too. Okay. Yeah. Eagle, I know how you get money. <laughs> Shout out to Kitchen. <laughs> This one yeah. right here, uh, <laughs> rule number four. Nah, nah, I'm gonna skip four. You don't like four? Why? I love four, but I want to uh, get to uh, some of these okay. callers. Okay. okay. Well, rule okay. number four: if you ever get fronted, despite what you're hearing, always pay that money. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's real. Yeah, so, that means for everybody who wanna run off on everybody. Okay. Y'all you know don't saying? do that. Keep your face clean. Okay. You keep gonna need them clean. before they need you. You know what I'm saying? So keep your face clean. You owe me. Always pay your debt. You know what I mean? Don't don't owe nobody. Rule number five. This is the only rule that I don't really like. Put a snake with a snake, you get a bite for a bite. Shit, that was game <laughs> right there, boy. Break that down. I mean, just this the screech, man. Like one thing about the screech, like you know, you know, we used to say back in the day, the screech ain't for good-hearted people, mm -hmm. because in order to survive, you got to play the screech how I play. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of foul shit going to play and, and go in the street. So and you may not even be a foul nigga, but sometimes it's just how you got to play back. Just Or it's a weakness. It's on you if you can't keep up with the energy. Uh -huh. It's just shooting you away. You got to shoot it back. And even worse sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So it's just how the street sells. This whole album got that kind of game, and it got a lot of great features. The first song, um, uh, Trapped. You say so much in it, you know, I, I can't remember all the lyrics, but you I heard niggas been talking about me and people you breaking bread with and you yeah. know, to me trapped is a mentality. Exactly. Uh, okay, speak to that. Like and to me it's like you're unraveling a whole mentality that we've been living with for generations that correlates with the streets at the same time. But what is trapped? Yeah, trapped is like you said, it's a mentality that I think we all have of a head at some point. Yeah. If you're from this street coach, you know what I'm saying? When like when when motherfuckers always tell oh man, he ain't a real nigga. Uh -huh. Or you ain't a real a nigga's trying to be a real nigga. What the fuck does that ain't mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what are you talking about? Like being real with who? Who is you? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like nigga, why am I you know what I mean? Like this another thing me and my partners be saying, we like you know, we, we pure niggas, meaning like whatever we do is pure because we really want to do it. We honestly that's how we felt about doing it. Cause what is is being a real nigga is almost like music, it's opinionated. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I may do some shit that's real to you, but fake to her. Yeah. yeah. You know real what I'm is so, relative. So who decides? Your real might real. not and be my you, real. And you got niggas run, you know yeah. how many people run up on me in different <laughs> cities like, hey man, like, your guy, man, I'm a real nigga. And like, I'll be like, in my head, I'm thinking like, what does that mean, mean though? Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you trying to say or accomplish or mm -hmm. get me to do by saying that? So, mm -hmm. that that mentality of um, some niggas feeling like you know trying to live up to that real nigga statement, they have to do certain things and live certain ways, and the shit may actually be hurting them. You know what I'm saying? Hurting their family or whatever. So, you know, um, I don't think you break the, the code or the street uh, if you living in it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I think niggas take that real nigga shit too. It's too far sometimes, and uh, and uh, it's other statements in this same record where I'd be like, uh, you bought a roller in the Cuban before you bought yourself a house. Trap. Mom in the hood, you know you supposed to move out. Trap. Trap. You took niggas' work, they went and shot up mama's house. Trapped. Trapped. You a selfish nigga, then it took your mama out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. niggas never thinking. Like you, yeah. you feel me? Like uh, drinking lean yeah. and what niggas you say, never thinking, thinking popping, popping lean, lean, sinking. sinking. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like just, just Ooh, that line right there. I wrote that line down too. Yeah. Good so it's good. like you yeah. know, like just really think about it. Like I remember one time, you know, years ago when I was in the street and I had issues in the street and uh, and, and you know, I was, it was some back and forth shit going on. But like everybody knew where my mama stayed at. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't even know where I stayed at, but everybody knew where my mama stayed at. You know mm-hmm. how this shit be? Mm-hmm. Like, everybody from the hood yeah, know where, know where, you, your, mama where your mama stayed at because they Cause grew, you grew up with there. you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I didn't got a little money, and um, I didn't move. You know, I had to move to the suburbs somewhere low key. But moms don't you know what I'm saying? Leave. But my mom don't want to stay in the same spot because she, she don't want to leave the hood. Leave. They, they don't want to leave. You know, mm-hmm. but but Everybody I got some shit. I got some real shit going on in the street at the time. And I remember like, you know, when I write this music, I, I be hoping that youngins hear the music and change up how they moving because that what music done for me. Like mm-hmm. like I can tell you the exact incident where I remember I had an issue. And I remember leaving the house and the dude called my phone and we arguing and shit. And I'm like, nigga, you know what I'm being? Me, me in the hood, woo, woo, woo. And, and this one, Get Richard Die Trying was out. Uh-huh. And I'm in the car and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? My temperature, boy, I'm ready, right? I'm, I'm on the way to, the, to to what's finna happen. And I'm bumping 50 Cent and on the way, I hear the words like, don't think you're straight because you moved out the hood. Boy, your mama's still around, but that shit ain't good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, the shit popped up in my head like, damn. I need to get my mom out of the hood. Like, mm-hmm. this real smoke out here mm-hmm. in the street. Mm-hmm. And I know the nigga ain't, can't pull up on me because I know nobody know where I'm at. But I'm thinking, like, no, 50 right. Like, mm-hmm. my mama right there in the same spot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, mm-hmm. you know, records like this is, like, mm-hmm. my analogy of trying to do that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Trying to point out things to people who actively in this stage in their life right now. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But damn, shit, what you do? Did you turn around? Nah, I still went to the hood, though, but you know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga on my dumb shit, but I still went to the hood, but I made sure I got my mom at that uh, house ASAP. Oh, uh, man. Hey, you see this game, right? Uh, listen, get the album if if you haven't got the project yet, uh, Untrapped. Uh, I also want to commend you uh, for, I'm, I'm a member of a board called The Last Mile, so uh, for I have been for a couple years. MC Hammer is a mem- it's the founding member of one of the board, uh, on the board. We might get Wallow and... Um, Gilly. And Gilly about to join the board as well. We go into prison systems and teach them coding, teach people who want to take the courses coding. And so people are learning how to code, and when they get out, we have a 0% recidivism rate. They get out, and we give them jobs with startup companies in um, you know, Silicon Valley and Northern California and all over. We're in like 50 prisons around the country. So when I when I saw that you that you was fighting for better prison conditions, how did that come about? I mean, I just teamed up with Rock Nation. I think um, first, first we actually started seeing pictures and videos of like some wild, wild things that were happening inside the prison down there in Mississippi. You know what I mean? There was, I'm talking like some super wild videos. Some, I think some of the shit we seen, um, people ain't even seen yet. Some of the pictures and videos of people like actually, you know, dead in their cell and everything. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was getting pictures and videos, and and Rock Nation was getting pictures and videos too so we like like the same day was like hitting each other like yo you seen this like, yeah I was just checking this out like you seen this yo, we, gotta, we gotta do something about this like so we immediately like jumped into place like urgent we ain't, we ain't waste no time like it literally happened that fast we got the pictures one day we sent them to each other the next day we was already you know putting things in place to reach out to the uh, governor down there and um, see what we can do to try to help the people out there in the prison what, what what kind of results have you heard from like people there? Have you, mean, you seen Have you seen any results in, in terms of the conditions? Like that the protests kind of bring awareness and we start I mean, to see action. They shut down Unit Twenty Nine. That's where a lot of the stuff, the pictures, was coming from. Okay, but uh, we don't think that like that ain't enough. They don't really solve nothing because you're okay. still moving them to a different place in the same prison. You know uh-huh. what I mean? You know the prison don't have electricity, so it's no heat. You know what I'm saying? People ain't took showers since Christmas. Um, it's no hot. There's no no electricity, so it's no hot water. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think food food is getting brought in, so it's you know the food coming from somewhere else. So you know it's cold by the time you make it there. They say rocks in the food. Mm-hmm. You got six seven prisoners sleeping in a cell where a two man bunk bed should be at, and it's eight nine rats living in the cell with the prisoners. They say the rats been in the, in there so long that like they not even biting the <coughs> prisoners or nothing no more. Like. Everybody's just comfortable with each other, like being there. That's how right. long and bad it is out there. Feces, yeah. black mold on the on the ground. Um, recently, another prisoner just died. You know, they saying for for uh, they saying he suicided, but we heard it was from starvation. Uh-huh. So it's just you know, it was it was five people died when we first heard about it. I think it's up to like 13, somewhere between 13 and, and 15 prison. Wow. now. So they mean that many more people than died since we've been trying to deal with it. Like people still dying 
every day. So that's why I mean, like, shutting down one part don't really solve the issue. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a, a real urgent issue because every day that they don't really fix it, you stand a chance of somebody that's dying. I love the work you're doing, man. Yo, Gotti, man. Keep it up, bro. If you need any help from our end, let us know. Let me yeah, know. Uh, for sure. Little Migo, he was yawning, man. You okay, man? You need, no, a, you need I, a pillow? I, I, I was reading the text no, You want to spit a bar or something, man? man well, I don't know. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wake you up. No, I don't want, I don't want. <laughs> you sure? All right. Oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll read the text All right, cool. Hey, Little Migo, good to meet you. Come you up too. again, man. Appreciate All right. Uh, Yo, Gotti, man. Appreciate you, family. I appreciate y'all, man. Come feel on. good, man. man feel, feel good, good to be man. out here untrapped. Yeah. Out. Go stream it everywhere. Check out. Let me know what the um your favorite records is. Hit me because I want to shoot a lot of videos. So okay. I want to get the people input. Okay. You know, so on, on you this project, I want to get everybody input on what they want to see me shoot. Okay. Instead um, of, you know. um Put a date on it. That's yeah, we already shot that. that okay. Uh, we already shot that in post. Now, okay. I want to shoot like the records, like the. More than ready records and the big homie rules, like they the real, gotta do the big homie, the real rules. message records, yeah, and then play, let that shit play out like a story, like we seeing yeah. the rules come and out. I want to touch motherfuckers with with the content. Yeah, yeah, do that, man. Yo, Gotti, ladies and gentlemen, Lil Migo, he out the streets CMG, now. We in the building. Come on, man, stay out them streets, homie, yeah, and give back too while you're getting it. Yeah. All right, we got Rosie Perez up next. You want to talk with Rosie? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five.